Hi, I'm Master Anubis. The Replica Prop Forum, Weta, and Dr. Gordwork's laboratory has brought us an opportunity to do a mod for a competition, of course, of the Invisible Particle Smasher Righteous Bison. Now, this is what one looks like straight from them, painted. Now, the, this, is their, this is their normal case. It has some of the pictures of their other products on it. But what they did for the competition is they made a special run of naked Righteous Bisons, which I thought was a really, really cool idea. And this is unpainted, straight plastic, and assembled, and ready for mod. In the spirit of the competition, I want to show you how to disassemble the, this naked Righteous Bison. And hopefully anyone who's squeamish or any of the younger competitors can have a better ending product based on their skill level, but still having the confidence to take one apart. I have not taken this particular type of uh, a product apart. However, I have taken quite a few things apart, and this shouldn't be too difficult uh, with some patience and uh, a few tools. Now what I have is I have two dull screwdrivers. They're just worn out that are standard, standard flathead screwdrivers, a small, tiny flathead screwdriver to get into small cracks, and basically a punch or a, some sort of pin type uh, screwdriver. This particular one was probably in somebody's toolbox 20 years ago and got modified. And also, just in case, I have a heat gun. Now, I want to avoid using the heat gun because the plastic can get uh, warp. This is a thermal plastic, is injected and molded, so it's ABS. It'll melt, but it may have a little bit of memory. I'm not going to risk it. Uh, I'm just going to be patient and go to town. Okay. Now to start, we're going to start just wiggling pieces. Now what that'll do is give you an idea of what's loose and what may come off without too much trouble. Now bear with me since I haven't actually taken this apart. I don't know what to expect. There has been somebody in another post that's taken it apart and has come out really good. However, that was a painted one. I haven't seen any pictures of anyone doing this with the naked one yet, so we don't know about this run. I'll try not to bore you. I'll uh, ramp up the speed, uh, time lapse it if uh, this becomes a problem and it's running too long. I'll go slow and probably clip some out, edit it, but we'll see how this goes. Now one of the first things you'll notice is the pressure gauges. The faces are actually in color. The you One thing you'll notice is the pressure gauges actually have a colored dial face. We did not expect this because the pictures on Facebook showed their prototype as in uh, their first their first article not to have this. Okay, to continue, uh, what I found out was these pieces right here will pop out like that. And hopefully this side will go just as easy. That sounded pretty violent, but that was just the glue breaking. The, uh, the glue appears to be fairly mild, and there doesn't appear to be any damage to the parts that I've taken off. So uh, I'm going to keep going.
this definitely is not as easy as I expected. Looking down in there, it's definitely mechanically locked between the two halves of the body. So I'm not going to force it, wiggling it. I'm assuming that this fin is going to be mechanically locked inside the body as well, as well as the front and rear pieces. Okay, I've actually hit some of this with uh, a heat gun. It's helped out quite a bit. It softens these up a little bit and um, makes, them, makes them nice and gooey. Uh, what I had was a low setting and just tried to evenly warm up the area I was working on. And I was able to get all four of these tube ends released. And it's still pretty warm. Okay, I was able to spread this apart and I can see the body halves cracking apart. The good cracking, this is in the, the case halves basically. I'm going to get my little handy dandy screwdriver in there. Let's see about running that up the seam, uh, to a uh, paper clip, paper clip. I'm running a popsicle stick up the seam. It's not doing any good. As you can see, I finally got it all apart with uh, minimal damage. I have uh, one piece that ended up cracking pretty bad, um, breaking basically as I took it apart. I don't think that's going to be a big deal for me because uh, I'll probably just end up remaking the whole, the whole body of the housing. But um, the glue was actually uh, needed the heat to get this apart. Uh, I needed to get the heat in there somehow. I ended up taking the handle out of the body and was able to get the heat gun in there to warm everything up really well and it pulled apart really well after that. However, to get it to uh, get the heat in there I needed something, I needed a gap. So uh, these were physically locked in there. Uh, the front and rear pieces were physically locked in there. There, uh, you can see there's kind of an eccentric. So when it was rotating, it was actually um, rotating the keyed the keyed slot piece that uh, wasn't really meant to rotate. You know, and that's that's fine. The front actually has a square, um, so you can't actually you can't accidentally interchange them. Interchange them. I can see that being beneficial in the factory, but for us it doesn't matter that's why the front didn't really turn that well the rear did anybody who doesn't have their uh, ray guns by now will uh, hopefully enjoy this uh, you know pictures don't really tell you as much as seeing it done so hopefully uh, this comes into some help for some of you guys and uh, yeah, good luck